in like months. I've just been taking a break, just focusing on myself. <clears throat> because a lot of you have been asking how I got my poodle puffs. And like part of my voice, I'm like a little bit sick, but like moving on. <laughs> Let me, a backstory on this hairstyle. So I was going to Mexico and I didn't want braids and I didn't want twists. I wanted something different. And I was like, I like poodle puffs, but my hair is not long enough to, you know, give me the desired length that I would want on vacation. So like, you know what? Literally, the night before I'm getting ready to take off, like getting ready to go to the airport, I'm like, you know what, let me just do this hairstyle. And my mom FaceTimes me and I'm just, I'm doing like the back or whatever. And I'm kind of like, eh, it's okay. Like, it looks so right, but let me, I have to do like my whole head in order for me to see how it really looks. So she FaceTimes me and she's just like, what are you doing? And I'm like, my hair. She goes, what is that? Like, she was like, so like, mm. And I was just, like, kind of annoyed because I'm just, like, if this doesn't come out good, I'm going to be mad. Like, all my pictures are going to be messed up for, like, my vacation photos. But when I was done, I was, like, okay. I added some little, you know, little gold cuffs. And I was, like, mm, okay, you know, this is going to work regardless. We're going to make it work. We are going to make this work. So then I got to the airport, and I was, like, I love your hair. Oh, my God, it looks so good. I've never seen that. And I'm just, like, oh, stop. And here I was four hours ago getting ready to cry because my hair was looking messy. <laughs> and I'm just going to add the video to this video, like the old tutorial to this video. Um, but I will show you the materials I used to do this. And then I'll like talk you like step by step. Okay. You need a crochet needle. I don't know if it's called a crochet needle. I'm pretty sure it's called a crochet needle. But you're going to need one of these. And for the hair that I use, I use these. It's Havana Jumbo Mambo. Havana Mambo Twist. Um, I use the color too, just because my hair is brown. And then 12 inches. Now, when I first did it, I don't think it was 12 inches. I think it was a little bit longer. But the store that I went to, they didn't have longer ones. They only had 12 inch. So, this is the length of 12 inch. Just let me just bring it down. Which is not bad at all, but I just want, I thought the last time I did it, it was a little bit longer. So, this is it. So, basically, you're going to, I guess how you would start a regular box braid. You know, if you're doing the rubber band method. You're just going to, you know, part your hair. You know, put a rubber band around your hair. They look like this out the pack. And then you're going to unravel it like this. Okay. And then you're going to stick your crochet little hook thing through, like under where the rubber band is. Stick it through. And you're going to latch on your hair. Put this down. Latch it on. La, la, la. Put the clip back. And then you're going to pull it through. Okay. And then... You're gonna put one side through, so you're gonna have, you know, you're gonna have your hair in the middle, right? And then you're gonna have these two on the side. And basically all I did was just kind of like camouflage my hair in it. You can twist, so the thing is that I didn't twist my hair in the middle of it, it's just my hair. So I mean, you can twist it, but, what is that on my lip? You can twist it if you want, but I just didn't. I just left it as is, because it really doesn't matter. I kind of like it, because you can't really tell it's my hair, you can't really tell where it starts, where it ends. So I mean, I feel like if it was twisted, you'd be able to see it in the, you know, in the little bubbles. So I just left it as it is. So basically, you're just going to spread it open a little bit and just camouflage your hair in between these. Now, make sure you get your color hair so that, like, it doesn't matter if it shows or not. That's why I got two. So that if my hair is showing, you're not really going to notice. So basically, yeah, you're just going to, you know, add a rubber band, you know, every so often. Just keep adding rubber bands. And then, like I said, just sandwich your hair in between each little bubble like that. And then the ends are up to you. So the ends kind of come out like this. Like, it kind of more like this. Which is not bad. I tried to curl them, but I was really impatient because I didn't know what size I used for the first time. And it turns out I like the way the smallest rod comes out. They're very skinny. I don't um, see if I have the white rods versus the yellow ones. And I did one, but then I was like, you know, it's probably this one. So I did a few of them with this one. And I didn't really like the way it looked, but I just kept going. But I really like the way um, the yellow rod looked. And it's like a tighter curl pattern. And I, I don't know. I only did one. So I just, you know, I was like, you know, I'll just keep going with the white ones and I'll, whatever. So, I mean, it's up to you if you want to keep it how it is, because it looks fine. But I just wanted to have it curled. So, some of them are curled. Um, like I said, I didn't focus too much on the curls. If it came up messy, I was like, all right, whatever. It's not a big deal for me. But, um, yeah, so basically how you do it is you take the ends of your hair and you wrap it around. Then you're going to boil your hot water, dip it in, 30 seconds, and then let it go. And it should be curled as such. So, I just, yeah, I was rushing too when I did it. So, it didn't come out as good as I usually like it. But, you know, it is what it is, you know. So, um, when I first did it, I didn't want to do my whole head with Poodle Puffs because I just wasn't sure how, like, the whole head would look. So, on the side, I did a design, and I did the same thing this time, too. So, right here, it doesn't have Poodle Puffs. It just has, like, um, just rubber bands going back just for about two, 
I don't know how to describe it, but it's just, you know, a rubber in here and it kind of goes into this one. And this is where the poodle, poodle puff starts. Just because, like, I want my hair to the side and, I don't know, I just, I feel like it wouldn't look as nice with all of them. I'm sure it would look fine. I just was being weird. So, this side doesn't have any poodle puffs, but it doesn't really matter because when you pull it up, you can't really tell that this side doesn't have poodle puffs, you know? It looks fine. So, that's why I kind of did this style. Last time I had, like, a, a crisscross going. Which would have looked fine anyway, but I just wanted to, like, if I wanted to pull it back, I didn't want it to be as noticeable. So I did just rub it in here and attach it to this rubber band right here. And then this is where the poodle puff starts instead of it being up here. So, just these three. Like that. And then that's it, y'all. That's it. Look at that. Bam. Bam. Yes.